FinChurch Aid has invited us to Liberia, Africa. Liberia is one of the poorest countries in the world, and whole country is still trying to recover from civil war, which ended 10 years ago. Our mission is to bring joy and happiness to the people of small jungle village called Yarmata. We face the challenge of how do we break the ice and how do we get closer to their heart. <laughs> We're gonna screw this up big time. Somebody come help me! The fire is spreading here as well. Now you're gonna see something totally different from us. You just landed to. Liberia, Africa, and uh, this country is still recovering from civil war. And Finnish Church Aid invited us here to help these people. So it's obvious that this is a huge challenge for us. But now it's time to meet our contact person, Lena. Mutta kiitos, kun tulitte. Te olette varmaan kuulleet, että täällä maalla on aika kova menneisyys. Täällä on ollut sotaa ja muuta. Ja mä oon kuullut, että teillä on vähän niin tämmöistä kykyä, että te saatte ihmiset vähän hymyilemään ja rentoutumaan. Ja... Niin, jos te voisitte auttaa, pikkusen hymyilis ja vähän löytäisi riemua elämäänsä. Tehdään ainakin parhaamme. Kyllä, Kyllä jos tänne asti tultiin, niin parhaamme tehdään. like an other planet. Quite a difference to Finland, the level of living and everything. But look at that place, that was probably a nice mansion before oh, the sure. war. Yeah, the war ended up 10 years ago and it was a civil war, so it was like a slaughter all over the place and they were fighting against each other, so... And no wonder people go smile. Yeah, it seems like they have lost their happiness and you can't blame them because I think everybody lost somebody. Hopefully we can bring some joy into their lives and get the smiles, but especially in the small village that we're going, Yarma town. Yeah, it's, it's actually very interesting to see how the life is in the village. And to see and talk to the guy that we're meeting over there, Henry Pepper, who's the village elder and the wise man in the town, he's been in the bar. Yeah, he's seen a lot. Okay guys, we are officially in the middle of nowhere. Here we are at the edge of the village and uh, we're gonna surprise them by Yarpi walking in as a soccer ball and uh, we'll see what, what kind of reaction they have. Hopefully they're gonna start playing a game of football and kick him a little bit. I think they're a little afraid of you. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the ball, see, Arp. Nice to meet you, the man. So we run in there, surprise, and uh, all the people, like, who are these guys? Like four blonde guys, just like goofing around. Like, what's going on with that stupid grin on their face? So you, you guys know Pepper family? Do you know family of Pepper? Yeah. Where do they live? Herumpa base. Just down. Down. Pepper? Hello. Hello, sir. Honor. 
to meet you. So we made it here to Liberia, to Yarma Town. Thank you for having us as guests here. Thank you too. Thank you. And we actually find you guys through all the jungle and everything. Yeah. Mm, you were saying something. What? Yeah. I thought you were saying something to me. Yes, uh, it's, it's an honor and pleasure to be here. So hopefully you'll have us here for a couple days. Pardon me. Please pardon me one more. Oh. Um, do you like to show us around? We want to meet your family. And also to see the village and see how you guys live here and learn from it. So, Henry Pepper, who's the elder of this village. So we came here as his guest and, you know, we asked if we can meet his family. And he's just like this cold stare, very distant, saying, you want to meet my family. Mm. Yes. So we, we faced a great challenge of like, how do we break the ice and how do we really get to know these people at the village and how do we get closer to their heart? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I want to turn them over for you to meet them one more and introduce yourself and they will introduce themselves to you too. Thank you so much, everybody, and uh, it's a pleasure on behalf of us to be able to come here and live with you and learn from you. Now we show what we do. Do you want to see? Do you want to see? Oh! Now I show you how I dance in Finland. It's like when we felt that we broke the ice at least a little bit. For that small moment, everybody was laughing, we were all high-fiving and we were all one. I think that was a good first step for us. We were wondering about this. This obviously is a football field. Yeah, this is a football field. Did you used to play a lot of football here before it grew up? Yes. Yes. That bring a lot of happiness to the village. Everybody came and played together. Sure. Do you still have the ball? Football, sport. Football, soccer. It's a very important thing for them. And that was that used to be the thing that all the children, boys and girls, and also the older people came together every day. They played. That was a joyful, cheerful moment. But then the ball, the football broke, so they even lost that small bit of, you know, cheerful time they have every day. So, uh, so we just got to your farm. This is your cassava, and that's your coal. Yeah, this is a real cassava. I love my family, so I decided to do something better for myself. And which, of course, I cannot dig the ground to get money. So I had to help myself through this. We were here to help, so please put us to work. Okay. Tell us what to do. Thank you. Yeah, here's the muscle. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? What's up? What? <laughs> this is Pepper's son, Simeon, and uh, we are now heading towards school. 
Simon doesn't have a chance to go to school because they don't have enough money. But it's interesting to show Simeon how the school works here. Yeah, so this is kind of like Simeon's first day at school and we are his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How many days live one week? Is it possible if we uh, teach something just a little bit? Yes. Okay? The game is that we are acting to be some kind of animal and you have to know what animals we are playing. great journey so far and hopefully you know tomorrow we'll be able to get even closer to them. The weird thing is that there's all these young children and there's then there's old people living in the village and somehow all the like over 15 over 20 year old guys especially have gone somewhere to search for a better life. What we can give them is those small moments of laughter and joy and maybe later on they'll remember that little sparkle in the eye or their smile is a little bit easier to you know come across what i want to leave here is that these innocent beautiful adorable kids they will think like okay now this is a great place <laughs> I think we're the biggest tourist attraction here in Yarmatar. Okay, first of all, we want to thank you very much for you letting us into your town. From our stay here, we have noticed that you are very honest and hardworking people. But from all the work, you haven't had time for play. So now we want to give you something and bring football and fun back to Yarmatan. I think the future of this country is in the hands of the children. Like the kids, they haven't seen the war they can start a new life and build this country. And that's why we wanted to give something for the children. Bring the football, bring the playground. And they will make the change here. When was the last time that we played here? Two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. And after that it's been just growing? Yes. Well, so maybe we can do something. If you're gonna show us first how to use this. This, it works like this. Okay. Now we know how to do this. Thank you. At least you have the community and people can make their own food and, you know, grow their own cassava. Instead of coming here and, you know, trying to survive in the surrounding like this. But this is the dream that they all chase because they come here for the opportunity. We have a whole football field. Oh look, we have done like probably one third of the field. One third? 
Yeah. Well, let's figure out something else. <laughs> okay. It's going to take at least a week to do it like this. Thank God we got some gasoline. <laughs> Not a good idea. Our idea was to burn the soccer field. I put one liter here and we had 40 liters for the field. And one liter blew up and went like all directions. <laughs> just, just exploded. So 40 liters, what that's gonna do. It's like immediately the whole field will be covered with fire. It's definitely not a good idea, but it's the best idea we have. Yeah, so far. <laughs> if the fire's gonna spread, it's gonna burn the whole jungle and the whole village. That's not the thing we want to do. Now we're trying to figure out how to control fire. Now we're, we're trying to make a safe area around the field so that once we light it up, it won't light the jungle. That works. Good, Yukka. Ready to go. Hi, hey guys. It's time to make a football field. Yeah. yeah. Burn it down. Burn down the grass. I have to admit that I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, me too. Yeah. My hands are shaking. Uh, all right. There's it... so much at stake. That was the moment that I actually thought that we're going to screw this up big time that if we're gonna burn the jungle, then we have to run fast. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Yeah, this, this explosion was way too small for our standard. Yeah, this was actually pretty gay. <laughs> no, this was, a, this was a, I don't know what was, whoa, look at that. Hey. It's too hot, I can't go any closer. Ah, oh, HP, come and help, HP. Somebody come help me, the fire is spreading here as well. Oh, uh, get the logos here. Hey, come and help. Help, help. Help, help, help. Like, <laughs> stop right here. Stop right here on the edge of the jungle. And all the guys from the village came and helped us and everybody. This close. With the help of all the people, we could put down the fire and we managed to save ourselves and the whole village. Well, you did well by holding the fire. Thank you. Okay, so Jarno and HP and you will stay here, and me and Yarp, we're gonna go and build something else, a that, surprise. That would be fun.
mission was to bring joy and laughter back into their hardworking and serious lives. It was amazing to see all the kids run in and just starting to play. And what a feeling it was to see all those children play. It makes me feel like this country has a future. Who here likes football? Who likes football? Yeah. Who likes What a magical moment, like one football and it changes everything. It's been a journey of a lifetime. And getting to know Henry Pepper, his first, he was really hard and distant to us. But he saw that we, honestly, we wanted to learn from his way of living. I hope we were able to give them something that they will take with them to the future. But I, I still think that we were the ones that learned the most. How simple life can be, but still how enjoyable. This has been so much fun, so great to stay here for these past days. But unfortunately, now we have to leave. We have to go back to our families in Finland. We wish to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You have so much love. You are hardworking, honest, amazing people. And we've had the luxury of meeting you and getting to learn from you. Actually, I have many words to say, just, it's been amazing. I want to say thank you very much for the effort that you apply, you are apply and do so many things for we and our children. I want to say thanks very much. The coming of my screen, your brings happiness in my, in my heart. It brings joy to me, in my family. But I feel like this has changed me. And when I go back to Finland, I'm not gonna complain about it any stupid, small things. We will never forget you. You are the number one. In the next episode, we will reveal unseen sides of our lives. You will find out what happened to our two old ranches. You also get to meet all our Finnish friends, including the mysterious fifth Dutzen. And finally, we'll reveal why we had to change our lives after the Dutzens in America.